Hello everybody, welcome back to the cosmetics channel. Today is a good day because I am showing you Essence's new trend edition that they've just come out with. It's called Everlasting Blooms. I mean, how beautiful is that name? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the spring vibes in the air. I've got my little flower earrings on just to celebrate this amazing time of the year. I don't know about you, but I can almost feel a different vibe in the air. I think people are happier, the sun is shining, and it's a perfect time to try some new products. First off, we're going to start with this really cool product. Now, I've never seen anything like this before, and I think it's gonna surprise you. So it's this super cute little lipstick. Now, it looks see-through, okay but it turns pink. It's literally like a little magic trick. I used to love these products when I was younger, when I was a little girl, the ones that would change colors. And now we got a big girl version. I'm so excited about it. So I'm gonna put it on and you're gonna see, it's gonna take a little bit of time and then it's gonna go all pink. I'm gonna use this instead of lip wise now because now I've got some color on my lips. And let me tell you, it's super smooth and super hydrating. As you can see, it went on so easily. Pop it in your bag, it looks super cute. Only thing is that for the trend edition, they're not gonna last forever. So I really recommend you go and check these out and find these products because I'm gonna buy a few of these. I'm just gonna have one. Next up, it is the first cream blush. And you can put this on your lips. So it's a dual product. You can even put it on your eyes if you want to. But the fact that it's a cream blush, that's my favorite type of blush. I like a hydrating, dewy type of skin. So this is perfect. Look at this amazing branding. I'm obsessed. Got this hexagon kind of packaging here. This beautiful gold typography on the front. I love it. So when I apply my blush, I like to start from the center up. Right? So we want to pull all the way up just to give our face that cool. Look how beautifully pigmented that blush is. So you can either rub this in with your fingers. Actually, I think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm not going to stay away from the brushes. We're just going to gently rub this in. Oh, so smooth. And I love how pigmented it is. What I love about this blush is that you can layer it and make it darker if you want that look. And I kind of like the, you know, I want to say sunburn, but it just means that I've had some sun, I'm feeling healthy, I'm getting outside. I love that, that's the best part of summer. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my nose, just the excess from my finger. And then we're gonna put it straight onto the lips. How beautiful is that? Next, we are going in with this beautiful highlighter. Now look at this. There is some textured flowers on here. We've got a dual color. This can kind of work as a bronzer and a highlighter, in my opinion. I can't wait to try it. So we're just gonna use this beautiful gold brush from Essence. Swirl it around. Tap the excess. Oh, that is stunning. Now let me tell you, it's my first time using these products. So I am, these are honest, true reactions. This is so beautiful and so light and fresh. Obsessed. Next up, the most fantastic eyeshadow palette. We're talking pink, we're talking purples, bright, fresh, and some really awesome packaging. Look at this beautiful packaging. It's actually textured, so this is material. How beautiful. And then, if you open it up, <gasps> Look at these amazing colors. So we have four slightly matte colors and then four shinier colors and then one beautiful strong pop of glitter just for that extra effect. So what I like about this palette is that you could use it for like a crazy, crazy eye, um, a big night out, a festival, or you could just use the really subtle pink shades just for a glowy pink look. So first let me use this matte color and pop that all over my lid. Next, I'm gonna go in with the slightly brighter pink and put that on the crease. Next, we're gonna add some shine. This, oh, I don't know, actually, these are both so beautiful. I think I'm gonna go P40. 
Peach. So I'm going to take that first color we used underneath my eyes just to line them slightly. Just gonna brush the fallouts away. So it's super fresh. I personally love keeping it like this. I think it's perfect for the day. And then if you are going out in the evening, you could pop this in your bag. I mean, this definitely will fit in my bag. And use the darker purples just to add some definition for the evening if you want to go a bit darker. And bear in mind, I don't have mascara on now and I still kind of love the look. How beautiful is that? Okay, next up, can't forget about our nails. So these are currently my nails. They are super dry from winter and just washing them all the time so i always need a little bit of a nail oil in my handbag i actually keep it next to my bed i keep one in my handbag just to make sure they are always nice and neat and i think it does make your nails look better when they're all moisturized so we have come out with this beautiful nail oil look at that little pink at the bottom it's super fresh so it's called a blossom nail oil i mean obsessed let's put it on so it's got this little brush at the end. Oh my gosh, there's flowers in here. <laughs> so there's actually little flowers in here. That is so beautiful. Okay, that is on my nails. Now I'm just going to moisturize and rub each nail bed. Make sure that it's nice and incorporated into my skin. I always put it here because I exercise a lot and often picking up the weight and that part of my hand also gets super dry. So it's nice to take that oil right down. So if you're someone that doesn't often wear nail polish, there's this amazing nail glow beautifier. I'm not gonna put it on now because I've got nail polish on, but basically it just brings back that color to your nails. You know when your nails are looking a bit dry, it's post winter, brings back that, that beautiful freshness that your nails should naturally have but a lot of us don't have because we use our hands so much we're sanitizing them we're washing them all the time so this is super great for that now we have scented flower nail stickers have you ever oh, obsessed and i'm someone that likes quite neutral nails so this is such a nice way to pop them without being too much, you know what I mean? And if you are someone that likes super bright nails, these still work because there's purple, there's pink, there's yellow, there's gold. Oh my gosh, you gotta see these close up. Stunning, so I'm gonna pop some of these on. I'm so excited. Are you ready to see my flower encrusted nails? Oh my gosh, that is actually so cool. And honestly, I really am not one to love nail art, like it's just not my thing, but I love this. I think it's so fresh, it's so spring, it's so feminine. And what I recommend is, I obviously have nail polish on already, but if I was you, I would paint my nails, stick them on with a tweezer, and then paint over them with a clear co coat so that they stay on. I've got gel and oil on my nails, so obviously they stick as they're not gonna stay forever. But I want these on there forever, so I would really, really stick them on with a gel top coat. So that is the Everlasting Bloom Trend Edition. As I said earlier, it's not gonna be here forever because it's a trend edition, so go buy the stuff, try it out. I mean, I would show you which is my favorite, but I literally love each and every product. I think they're great, and what a great way to start spring with Essence. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment all your favorite trends, what you want to see from us, any questions, we'll be watching and replying. And yeah, thank you for joining me. This was so much fun. I hope you enjoy the new products and happy spring.